hello guys welcome to me tutorial so in this video i'm going to show you different methods of table layout dynamically such as col uh, column collapse uh, layout span and column okay guys so let's move to android studio so you can understand it very well okay so let's switch it okay guys so we are in android studio you can see a table layout demo and this is our last part code so we do not have to change anything but simply here we have to add one line that table layout dot set that is column collapse method guys and simply here we have to pass the column index and boolean value that is true okay so let's save it now we have to run it okay it's offline let's let's say okay so guys it's building right now okay guys so you can see here that our application is installed and our column one is collapsed means hide okay guys so let's move to another method but guys before that if you want to collapse all the columns then what we will do but guys let me tell you that there is no different method to collapse all the column you have to separately collapse all the columns likewise like i show you how so here is let's say two so like this you have to separately call this method to collapse all columns okay so now let's move to another method that is span uh, layout span is used for call span as I told earlier. So for that guys here we have to create one layout param. So that is for table row just remain it. Okay, so here let's create its object equal to new. Okay. Now guys there is a span. Okay. And here we have to assign its value to 2 okay so now let's come down okay so here guys while adding the view here we have to simply pass this layout params object okay so let's save it first now let's run it okay so it's building right now so let's open this wait a second guys okay it's build it's installing right now guys wait okay it's installed so guys bam you can see here that our column 5 is spanned means a two column wide you can see here okay so now the last thing that left that is columns so here we have to use this column and column equal to 2 and we have to do semicolon and simply we have to pass here I'm passing its index so let's say set it 3 so you can understand it very well okay so let's save it okay it's running right now it's building wait a second guys okay it's installing okay installed so guys you can see here that i have already set it its index 3 so you can see here that it sets to the index 3 that is 0 1 2 and 3 so guys you can see here that our output is perfect so guys see you in next video so thanks for watching this and please keep liking and subscribing my channel